Today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for no-bake marshmallow pie. So let me show you what you're going to need. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. You're going to need some milk, heavy whipping cream, melted butter, sugar. You're going to need graham cracker crumbs divided and you're going to need some marshmallows. Now mine melted a little bit in the car, but that's okay because I'm going to be melting them anyway. So let's get started. So we're gonna start out by making our graham cracker crust. Now, you all know, if you've been with our channel for a while, I am the queen of a good old store-bought graham cracker crust, but sometimes you just need homemade, and that is what I'm doing today. Of course, if you wanna save time, Definitely use a store-bought, nothing wrong with that, but I think you need a homemade crust in this case. So I have some graham cracker crumbs in the bowl. I just added some unsalted melted butter, and then I'm just gonna give this a good stir. You're just gonna pour that graham cracker mixture into a nine inch pie plate, and you're just gonna press it on the bottom and up the sides of that pie pan. And now I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge while I work on my pie filling. Okay, so I've added my marshmallows to a large pot, and now I'm just adding in some milk. So now I'm just gonna let those marshmallows melt. And this is what my mixture looks like after about five minutes. So I'm gonna let this cool and then move to the next step. Okay, my marshmallow mixture is still cooling, but I am going to whip up that heavy whipping cream. So I'm just pouring it into a large bowl. And I'm just gonna use my hand mixer to whip it up. Okay, my heavy whipping cream is nice and stiff. And so now I am just going to pour that marshmallow mixture into that heavy whipping cream or the whipped topping now, I guess I should say. Just gonna pour it in. And just gonna give it a good stir. Got everything all mixed up. Now I'm just gonna pour that mixture into my pie crust. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle some graham cracker crumbs right on top. And then I'm going to cover and refrigerate this for about four to five hours. Okay, so here is the pie. I let it chill in my refrigerator for about six hours and you can see that it's set up very nicely. And here is the slice on the plate. It is very good, nice and light, and not overly sweet. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.